Guys, I think I found it. I found this white horse image from the Middle Ages. Maybe the white horse painting in the isolation room represents this specific horse. I know it's a stretch, but I really see some resemblance here. Okay, okay, enough of that. What's up guys, it's t -Bag, and today we're gonna take a step back from all the crazy Battlefield 2018 theories and look at some good old Battlefield 1 details. Not gonna lie, this is probably one of the very last details videos I will do for Battlefield 1 as I think we pretty much covered all of them. We had some crazy secret details such as the Italian flag in the runner campaign mission or the icebreak detail in Neville Knights. Maybe I'll do one more video talking about all the previous details videos and picking the coolest details out of the bunch and just appreciate them. I think that will be really entertaining. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see that. Anyway, for today's video we have a couple of very cool details once again. One of which was in the game for a long long time, but I think it's pretty rare to come across this specific one because I have never heard it myself, but luckily a subscriber sent me this video to show me. So on operations, when you play as the British forces, on the map Emia, when you are forced to retreat, if you listen closely, sometimes you can hear bagpipes in the background playing. Here, listen to this. Pretty cool, right? Well, apparently this was a thing back in World War One. There were actual British bagpipe players who were in the trenches with the fellow soldiers playing the bagpipes. Apparently it boosted morale amongst the soldiers, but the sad part is the bagpipe players were only equipped with, well, their bagpipes. They didn't have any weapons and they didn't even have a cutting tool to cut barbed wire. They were powerless against the German machine guns and therefore 500 of them were wounded and over 600 of them were killed in no man's land in World War I. Moving on to the next detail, I don't know if you've noticed this, but if you cross waist high water in Battlefield 1, your soldier's character runs in a different way. In first person view you can see it perfectly, as you run through the water your soldier lifts up his weapon in order to not get it wet. A very subtle but cool touch nevertheless. You know stuff like this really helps me appreciate the game. Another cool detail is the different ways soldiers react to gunshots. For example, if you shoot an enemy soldier in the throat, you can see him grabbing his throat and kind of gagging for it and stuff like that. It's pretty gruesome, but still a pretty awesome detail. Some other cool details that are more there for the visual effects are for example the airplane on the priest at the her map. If you go to the alleyway and look up, you can see an airplane wreckage lodged between the two buildings. It doesn't really react to bullets or explosions, but still, it looks pretty damn awesome. Same goes for the tank wreckage on the map Suez. In one of the buildings, you can see a burning tank wreckage, and although this looks pretty cool on its own, the tracks on the tank hang loose, and it actually reacts to when you are pushing up against it. They have their own physics, which again, is pretty damn cool. Another stunning visual detail are the icicles on the bridges on the Nights and Priest did to her. Obviously because it's super cold, they represent that in multiple ways. One of them is with these icicles. Ever notice that when you're gonna customize your airplane, you are located somewhere on the map you are playing on. As you can see here, for example, I'm playing on Ballroom Blitz and when I go into the customization screen for the airplane, you can see it's located somewhere on the same map. But where is this customization screen located on maps such as Razor's Edge and London Calling for the game mode Air Assault? Well check this out, because these maps are played in the air, DICE added a custom customization screen in a hangar somewhere on the ground. I even think that the hangar on the map Razor's Edge is the same as the one from the Friends in High Places mission. And to finish this video off, we have a very cool little easter egg. And I know I normally don't really cover easter eggs on these series, but this one is just very neat and I wanted to show you guys because I don't think a lot of people have heard of this before. So sticking with the game mode Air Assault, in some cases, if you fly close to the mountains on Razor's Edge, 
You can hear Neeps yodeling very faintly in the background as well as saying he is a terrible pilot. Watch this. Now that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already. Like I said, this was probably one of the very last details video I will ever do for Battlefield 1. So savor this moment. Anyway, thanks for watching again and i see you guys next time.